Punnett Squares The implications of Mendel's work are made easily visible by the work done by Reginald Punnett in the early 1900s. He extended Mendel's work and developed a schematic approach to predicting the outcomes of breeding. The probabilities of the genotypes and phenotypes of offspring resulting from the breeding of parents, given their genotypes, is simple to calculate for single traits. Doing that for more than one trait is a little more difficult and beyond the scope of this course. Set up a Punnett square by determining the alleles that could be contributed by each parent. Every parent has two alleles for each gene, one on each of its homologous chromosomes. During meiosis, homologous chromosomes are distributed into different gametes, so each allele is in a different gamete. For a gene that has alleles capital A or lowercase a, a parent could contribute one of these combinations, both uppercase A's, a mix of uppercase and lowercase, or two lowercase A's. A Punnett square is divided into four equal-sized smaller squares as shown here. The alleles of one parent, so two letters, are written on top and two letters for the alleles of the other parent along the side. For example, write the alleles for a true breeding plant with purple flowers on top and for a true breeding plant with white flowers down the side. Each square represents a 25% chance of that genotype being the genotype of the resulting offspring. Since capital P is dominant, what will be the distribution of flower colors of these offspring? This is the F1 generation. All of these offspring will have purple flowers, since capital P is dominant and appears in each box. The only way to get a white flowering plant is for capital P to be absent. Crossbreed two of the offspring from the previous page together using a Punnett square to get the F2 generation. In this case, both parents are one capital P, one lowercase p. The probabilities of the genotypes are 25% for two capital P's, 50% for one capital P, one lowercase p, and 25% for two lowercase p's. Any time capital P is in the genotype, the plant's flowers will be purple. There is a 75% probability of offspring having purple flowers and a 25% chance of offspring having white flowers. The only genotype that leads to white flowers is the two lowercase p's in the lower right corner square. With your group, draw a Punnett square to answer this question. If one parent has blue eyes, and the other parent is heterozygous for brown eyes, what percentage of the offspring will have blue eyes? The allele for blue eyes is recessive. Write down the genotypes of the two parents, draw a Punnett square outline with the parents' genotypes, fill in the squares, and calculate the percentages. Answers are on the following slides. Since the allele for blue eyes is recessive, the genotype for the blue-eyed parent must be two lowercase b's. A brown-eyed parent could be two uppercase b's or an uppercase and a lowercase b. But we were told that this brown-eyed parent is heterozygous for eye color, which means that their genotype must be capital B, lowercase b. So here is our Punnett square. We have capital B, lowercase b, lowercase b, lowercase b, capital B, lowercase b, and lowercase b, lowercase b. So you can see that 50% of the children will have brown eyes and 50% will have blue eyes. Here's the completed square and you can see that 50% of the offspring will be blue-eyed and 50% will be brown-eyed.